so. Well, that's still, that's not good. That's not bad. Ah! and welcome to my channel I'm Nikki and today's video is going to be a fun one for me I'm just gonna be filming a few different days different meals that we make but what I'm gonna be doing is recreating some of our favorite like takeout meals or from restaurants so for example tonight I'm gonna be making chipotle bowls at home and I'm actually gonna make the same mild and corn salsa that they have and so that's like the best part about making it at home is that you have the extra salsa and it's so good so we're gonna go ahead and do that tonight and then I'll be making a couple other meals from restaurants that we like as well. So if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And let's just get started making some Chipotle bowls. Okay, so I've actually shown the pico de gallo on my channel before, but I'm just going to quickly make it. So what I'm using, I have three Roma tomatoes, a red onion, some cilantro, which I'm also going to use for the corn salsa, and then lime juice, and then... I always use jalapenos, but we are out and I'm not running to the store right now. So we're just gonna use diced green chilies today and then use some of this garlic jalapeno seasoning. So it's kind of makeshift, but it'll still be really good. Okay, so that is salsa number one. No. So here's no, Adam picking no. the beans out of the corn after. <laughs> so, Thank you, Pluto. After I told him how many times that they were going to be strained separately, but he still decided to combine them. So now Adam's picking pinto beans out of two cans of corn so that I can make my salsa and then the beans separate for the recipe. So now I have a can of pinto beans here. It's got little chunks of corn because Adam had to pick them out um, for the salsa because he accidentally combined them. But anyway, we're still gonna use these. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little bit of this Roja sauce and I'm just gonna mix it in with them. Okay, so we really like this sauce. So I ended up putting about three tablespoons in and I just mix it with the pinto beans. And then I'm gonna go ahead and microwave these for like four minutes to heat them up. Okay, so I'm ready to assemble our bowls. So right here I have 135 grams of jasmine rice that was just left over in the fridge. We always have that pre-made and I have Adam's bowl here, but that's five points for us. And then I'm going to go ahead and start putting the ingredients on. So here I have the pinto beans that I added the sauce to. These are zero points and actually because we're dividing it between the two of us and we'll probably both split this and just eat the whole thing. But 
the points for the sauce, it, it's actually zero for a tablespoon and a half. I made some chicken the other day. So this is just regular chicken tenderloins I cooked up and then I threw them in the KitchenAid mixer with some taco seasoning. And so we just have some taco shredded chicken. Usually I like to get the steak at Chipotle, which is three points, but the chicken is five points. We really like the grilled veggies at Chipotle, so we just use some of our veggie mix, which has zucchini, peppers, and onions. And I think their mix is just peppers and onions sauteed, but we're gonna go ahead and add that. That's zero points for Chipotle's and for this version. I'm gonna go ahead and use some of this light Mexican blend cheese from Trader Joe's. We're gonna use 20 grams, which is two points for us. And then the serving of cheese you get at Chipotle is four points. Then I went ahead and chopped up some romaine lettuce, same as Chipotle's, zero points. And actually, if I use a cup, I mean, combined with the veggies, it'll probably end up being a point earned back with the lettuce and then the veggies. Then I'm going to use some light sour cream. It's going to be two points for two tablespoons, or one tablespoon is one point. I don't know how much I'm going to use yet. Uh, but the serving of sour cream at Chipotle is six points. Then I have my corn salsa made, which is now actually two points at Chipotle, and it's actually two points here as well. The corn is now points for us. So if corn is one of your zero point foods, it'd be zero. And then this is our mild salsa, so this is zero points. Also zero at Chipotle. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the bowl. So I have my two tablespoons of light sour cream right here. And one thing I like about Chipotle sour cream is that it's kind of runny. And I also like lime with mine, so I just put a little bit of lime in here, lime juice. So then it's like a lime sour cream. Okay, so I have my Chipotle bowl finished right here. It is huge. This thing is heavy. <laughs> this is going to be really filling, so... This ended up coming out to, on the new plan with our personal points, it's 11 points for us. So it's five points for the rice, two points for the cheese, two for the corn salsa, two for the sour cream, and that's it. That is compared to a regular Chipotle bowl, and my order would usually be 22 points. So it's half the points of what my normal Chipotle order will be. And honestly, this is so much more satisfying and filling and... Chipotle doesn't usually make me feel sick, but sometimes it does. Sometimes the chicken's a little iffy. But with this, I always know that I'm going to feel good after eating it. And I feel nourished, honestly, after eating meals like this. So we're going to go ahead and enjoy our Chipotle bowls now. And then we'll be making a new recipe tomorrow. Okay, so next I'm going to show you guys another meal that I like to make. That's a kind of copycat of one of our favorite restaurants in the area. So this is a Thai restaurant that we love to go to. And... I get the same thing every single time we go there. I've tried a couple other dishes, but I get the same thing now every time. I try to look at other things and I always go back to this because it's just my favorite dish and it's just so good and we don't have it that often. But the one thing about it is that it is a little bit greasy and so it does make me feel kind of sick the next day. And so being able to remake it at home, something super similar is so good. What I'm using today, I have these Thai wheat noodles from Trader Joe's. So the box comes with three packets. I'm gonna be using two of them today. So two of them together is 17 points. And this meal is gonna make four servings. So I got these at Trader Joe's. Like I said, they're just like a stir fry type noodle. But yeah, just any type of like noodle that you wanna use for this dish will work. Really, if you could find any type of noodle like this, but this has been my favorite that I found. Um, I haven't tested out many others, so we just really like these though. So what I'm gonna do is I have some shrimp here. I'm probably gonna use about half this bag and I'm just gonna start it thawing. And then in a pan, I'm gonna put a tablespoon of this toasted sesame oil. This stuff is so flavorful and so good for Asian dishes. So I'm gonna use a tablespoon to start cooking and I'm gonna chop up this orange bell pepper. Last time I used a red bell pepper, but orange will work fine. I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in some edamame. This is just the Trader Joe's, it's frozen uh, shelled edamame. So I'm gonna measure that out and see how much I use. Then I just get a bag of this coleslaw mix. So any type, of coleslaw mix will work. Uh, specifically, I like to get the green cabbage and red cabbage with carrots in it because that's exactly what vegetables are in the dish that I order from the restaurant. Then I have this big thing of crab, so I'm gonna weigh out the amount I'm gonna be using. It's just some imitation crab and then sauce I'm gonna be making using some rice vinegar, which I need to get more of this, some <laughs> low sodium soy sauce, and then more of that toasted sesame oil. I'm gonna go ahead and cook up the veggies 
Add in the crab and shrimp, and then the last thing I'll add is the noodles, and you just cook them for a couple minutes, add in the sauce, and that's pretty much it. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I went ahead and weighed out the edamame. It was about a cup or 170 grams. And then I weighed out six ounces of the imitation crab. I'm gonna go ahead and chop this up while the pepper is cooking on the stove. So after I cooked the peppers for like five minutes, I went ahead and added the edamame in, and now I'm gonna go ahead and add the bag of coleslaw. So I went ahead and dumped the entire bag of coleslaw in here. I feel like this bag might have been bigger than last time I made it, but it's still going to work. We like the cabbage a lot, so it'll be good. But I'm going to let this cook for a few minutes and then add in the shrimp. I'm going to peel the tails off the shrimp really quick, and then I'll throw that in here with the crab and the sauce. Okay, so I put in the rice wine vinegar, and that's about two teaspoons. Usually I put a little bit more, but I ran out. Then I'm putting a tablespoon of the toasted sesame oil, and I don't usually measure the soy sauce, but usually it's, it's probably like three tablespoons that I put in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in the skillet. And then I'm also going to add in two tablespoons of this mandarin teriyaki sauce from Panda Express. And for a little bit of heat, I'm going to toss in some crushed red pepper as well as some salt and pepper. Okay, so here is my finished dish. This is actually a really good amount of food, and I went ahead and I just evenly distributed it between my bowl, Adam's bowl, and then two takeout containers for leftovers. So, so this ended up being a 10 point serving for each of us. Uh, we did it in the recipe builder, and it was 40 points divided by four servings, so it's a 10 point serving. So really such a better option. It's not gonna make me feel like blah, like the one I order from the Thai restaurant is, even though I love it, and it's good to have every once in a while. The oil really is a lot and it really doesn't make me feel great. So this really does make me feel fine after I feel nourished. I feel like I got a really good amount of veggies. There's a lot of cabbage, the edamame, the carrots, and the pepper. So it's just a really good option and it's also a lot cheaper to make at home. So that is another one of my favorite recipes to make at home that's like a copycat restaurant recipe. Okay, so now we're gonna be making a copycat of the Chick-fil-A breakfast burrito because that is one of Adam's favorite things to get from a fast food place. He gets the breakfast burrito every time we get breakfast there, and so, which isn't that often, but he really does enjoy it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the copycat version here at home. And so I have one ingredient that makes all the difference with this. You don't have to use it. You can use any chicken you want, but we found this chicken and it is seriously knockoff Chick-fil-A nuggets. It's from Sam's Club. I've talked about it before. These are their chicken bites. It's the Members Mark brand and four pieces is four points for us or 150 calories. It tastes just like Chick-fil-A nuggets. It is so good and we usually just toss it in the air fryer to heat it up. It really only takes like five minutes to heat up. It is so good. So that's what we're going to be using on our burritos today. We're each going to have a large extreme wellness wrap. So this is two points or 80 calories for one tortilla. I have three eggs right here. Usually I give Adam a little bit more eggs uh, and a little bit more chicken. Like usually I try to just fill his a little bit more because he gets more points in a day. But uh, I have three eggs right here, so I'll give him a little bit more of that. I'm going to scramble those up. And then I had some just chopped red onion and green pepper. So I'm going to mix that in with the eggs while I cook them. On the burrito, I'm going to put some light mozzarella cheese from Trader Joe's. We're just going to use a one-point serving, which will be 30 calories, and it's going to be like 14 grams, so it's half the serving size. I already went ahead and weighed out our chicken, so I have it here on this paper towel. This is what the nuggets look like, and we just did the most we could do for three points, which is 68 grams, which is going to be the perfect amount on our burrito. So 
In total, the burrito is gonna come out to only six points for us. We'll have the tortilla, I'll put the light mozzarella cheese, the scrambled egg with the pepper and onion in it, then we'll put the chicken, and then I also diced up, I had just one small potato left, and so there's hash browns on the Chick-fil-A version, but I just cut up a small potato and I cooked it in the microwave for like three minutes. That just helps it get softer because then I'm going to go ahead and throw it in the air fryer right now with the chicken. So I'm going to cook the chicken and the potatoes together and then we'll just be able to assemble the burrito after the eggs are made. But I'm going to go ahead and put some seasoning on these potatoes. So I'm going to use some of this garlic herb and black pepper and sea salt seasoning. And I'm just going to, I already sprayed this with a little bit of olive oil spray. So I'm going to go ahead and spray some of it. That was the big one. These are going to be really seasoned. That's fine. <laughs> I just used the big end on accident. But anyway, oh my gosh. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put a foil in the air fryer. Uh, the chicken doesn't need the foil, but now that I just made a mess with these potatoes, I'm going to have them on a foil. And I'm going to go ahead and cook them for like five minutes, move around and check on them, and we'll see where we're at. But I wanted to say really quick. So like I mentioned, this will be a six-point burrito for us. The Chick-fil-A version is 20 points, so it's a big difference, and this really tastes so good. The chicken tastes so much like it that you really can't tell that much of a difference. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Okay, so I went ahead and put the cheese that I weighed out, the cooked eggs with the peppers and onions, then the potatoes were in the air fryer. I had them at 400 for about seven minutes, same with the chicken, and this is my finished burrito. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up, and then I throw it in the air fryer for like five more minutes just because we like it a little bit crunchy on the outside, and then we'll dip it in some hot sauce. Okay, so here is the finished breakfast burrito. It is so good. So right here, this is six points, and then I'm actually having it with some Taco Bell mild sauce. That's my favorite sauce to have with breakfast burritos, but it tastes just like Chick-fil-A, so we're excited. Okay, so here is my burrito. We're about to have our breakfast right now. I'm so excited. But that wraps up our video for today. So I hope you guys found this video helpful or interesting. We, before we started our journey, we used to eat out all the time. We have favorite meals at every restaurant around here. And to be able to make these healthy alternatives at home helps us so much on our journey because it really does satisfy those cravings. We try to get it as close to those meals as possible. And it doesn't make us feel like garbage after like we do sometimes if we eat out or have fast food or have something like super greasy because we're not really used to having that much grease anymore so this is such a good healthy alternative that really satisfies those cravings like i said it's really fun to kind of get creative and use some similar ingredients but then use like our low carb tortillas that we like to use and like our light cheese that we always like to use so it's easy to kind of mix in those different ingredients while still having something that tastes really good so yeah i hope you guys found this video helpful if you want to see this again we make a bunch of different meals that are copycats of restaurant meals or fast food meals at home so if you guys want to see more of these Go ahead and let us know down below and we appreciate you guys watching so we'll see you next time.